Shalom. Uh, I just wanted to renew our minds today uh, with the Ten Commandments. I was um, I saw a video that disturbed me that uh, they were recording our, our younger people and asking them about the Ten Commandments and they could not even uh, say one of them. They couldn't quote one of the Ten Commandments and that was so sad and um, it, it's one of those things that we don't say every day we don't read that every day it's just like oh the Ten Commandments uh, but uh, maybe we should maybe we should renew these in our mind and in our hearts and uh, remind ourselves exactly what they say so I, I would like to read it uh, and do that right now um, this is out of the Geneva Bible the 1599 version then God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt make thee no graven image, neither in any similitude of things that are in heaven above, neither that are in earth beneath, nor that are in the waters under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down to them, neither serve them. For I am the Lord thy God, a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, upon the third generation, and upon the fourth of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands to them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maid, nor thy beast, nor thy stranger that is within thy gate. For in six days the Lord made the heaven and the earth, the sea, and all that in them is and rested the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the seventh day, and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Neither shalt thou covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maid, nor his ox, nor his ass, neither anything that is thy neighbor's. Wow. The world is full of going against every one of these things in this day and time. And no wonder... I mean, even our younger generation, they didn't even know what they were. Uh, they, they couldn't even quote one of them. So, I mean, if they don't know what they are, and they can't quote them, how are they know what they're supposed to do? How do they know what's right or wrong? I mean, who's out there? I mean, nobody's teaching them. So we have to get the word out some way. So I just wanted to renew these with our in our minds this day. So I just hope that you'll go and you'll be blessed. And shalom.